<clears throat> All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. So last week I did a video where I got some M-Turk Alien mouth-to-lung coils and some coil turd fused Clapton mouth-to-lung coils and I put the Beecher fused Clapton coil turds inside of the K-Fun and I put the M-Turk mouth-to-lung aliens in the Reload Vapor mouth-to-lung RTA and I kind of did a whole build thing and I kind of, you know, I didn't want it to be like a versus thing but I did kind of compare them back and forth a little bit you know, based on a few things like flavor, warmth, overall enjoyment, things like that and then I made some, I mean Let's just call it what it is. Crazy statements. Crazy statements. Crazy statements regarding the flavor level of this Reload RTA as compared to the flavor level of my beloved K-Fun RTA. Well, one of my subscribers who goes by the name Silent Drive demanded a coil flip. He said, switch them up and see if it's still the same dang delight. So that's 100% what I did and I'm realizing right now that you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I took the same coils from the previous video and I took the M-Turk Aliens out of the reload and installed them in the K-Fun and I took Beecher's MTL fused Clapton's and I put them from the K-Fun into the reload. Same coils, literally just swapped them and stuck with the same juice, that deep cuts dragon shape. Ooh, six milligram, gabagool. The resistances didn't change barely at all. Beecher's coils are right now at a 0.79. They were at a 0.81 on the K-Fun. M-Turk's coils are sitting here on the K-Fun at about a 0.61. They were about a 0.6, I think, on this reload. 0 0.6, 0 0.59. Still very, very close to their original resistances. I've been vaping both of these continuously, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, really kind of focusing on the flavor. It's hard to get past the tanks themselves, though. I'm coming to realize I don't really like the airflow of this reload mouth to lung RTA. It's a little bit too weird. It's a little bit too spongy for me. And after going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, the conclusion that I come to is it's really difficult to compare fused Claptons to aliens to begin with, and even more difficult to compare them in two different RTAs and the coils themselves having two different resistances. So you kind of have to run them at two different wattages. Mm -hmm. Beecher's coils in this tank work great. They taste great. If this was my mouth to lung setup, this RTA with these Beecher coils, 0.79 at 16 watts, six milligram dragon shake, I would be very satisfied. Not just very satisfied, but this is a little bit above par. This is what I would consider a high quality vape. And with all of that said, I kind of have to say the flavor just goes where the aliens go. M-Turk's triple core mouth to lung aliens now inside this K-Fun have just taken this K-Fun to whole other levels that I really didn't plan on going to. 0.61, 17 watts. Mm. It's just, it, it's just so much good flavor. And again, I don't want this to seem like I'm crapping on Beecher because his coils are top quality, high quality, beautifully built, flavorful, flavorful coils, okay? But if I have to be objective about this, and I do, I do have to be objective about this. I have to say what I said before, the flavor just kind of follows the aliens. And I'm gonna say having M-Turks triple core mouth to lung aliens inside this K-Fun is, I mean, this is the best mouth to lung I might've ever had. It's rich, it's flavorful, it's a little bit crackly. I'm just a big fan, just an overall big fan. I've just become a big fan of the aliens inside the K-Fun. So thank you Silent Drive for making me do this ahead of schedule because I'm incredibly enjoying it. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Just wanted to give you the swap flip update. The flavor follows the aliens. Not allowed to have links anymore in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo. I will say that Turk's aliens for a set of his aliens, about 25 bucks. Coil turds, mouth to lung fuse, Clapton's clock in at about 15 bucks. So 
you know, use your vape budget hands accordingly. I will say this now, like I said in the last video, aliens from Turk have lasted me a really long time in the past. Inside drippers, I've had a set of Turk aliens last me over a year with just regular re-wickings. So the idea that you could maybe spend 25 bucks, which is a big chunk of change just for some coils, I get it. But the idea that you could take one of those coils, install it in a K-Fun, and then not have to replace that coil, for possibly a year, maybe longer, I feel like that 25 bucks doesn't seem to be such a big chunk of change anymore. If, if you can get that kind of longevity out of them. Anyway, that's what I got for today. Anyway, like I said, everybody, that's what I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, absolutely, let's keep on vaping.